chick and you might notice that I'm wearing the Union Jack. Wait, this is Union Jack, right? Yeah, British flag. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I should start all over. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Not a Spring Chicken. As you can see, I am wearing the Union Jack today in honor of the London Olympics. And just for that we're gonna make something rather British. We're going to be making beef and scones. You're going, what? Yeah, beef and scones. Scones are very British, especially if you've had tea, you might have seen scones. Actually, we also have scones at places like Starbucks, too, for breakfast and the coffee bean. It's, just, it's old British, not new British. Ah, what's the difference between old and okay, new British? Old other British than was, they used to, um, you know, like steak, steak and kidney pie and things like that. They used to make that because they, if they didn't have enough of any one thing to do what they wanted, so they would use the pastry and the kidney and all this stuff, and they'd say with the scones, they would simply use scones and beef and vegetables together, and then they would cook them, and then they'd have them to eat while they were out. It sounds so like their version of leftovers. Well, it is leftovers. <laughs> oh, yeah, so a exactly. lot of, okay, this goes back to the time that the British people didn't have much, you know, back in the medieval days, and or back in the oh. days of life. So they, and they used all the parts of the meat, right? Everything that they had, they would use. Okay, so of course we have beef in yeah. here. Actually, wait, this was steak. Was that's it? that's Chuck's. That is uh, actually a roast. Uh, it, it's hamburger steak or whatever. Sure. They basically put ground steak. This that's is ground steak. Ground steak. Ground yeah. steak. Because it's been pounded with a hammer to soften it up. But was it pounded, pounded in circles? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put that in the oven and put it on for a couple of minutes on high. Okay. We need it to actually cook. Actually, we're, we're making, we want the broth in there too because that's going to the Montavia. So now we Jeez. we got um, some okra that we're going to use a substitute for, uh, you know, a vegetable to add to it. Just kind of basically take, it, our, our take it out and chop it up a bit. Okay. And why are we using okra? Because we, most of you probably don't think of okra. You, know, you take the first. thing out of the camera. Oh, is we're doing this because we We're have it. We have it and... We need to get rid of it. <laughs> That's what? What else do we have? Well, I mean, what we have, we have corn and we have pea, bean, green beans, so... Oh, yeah. Because green is, beans are thought of as French. Yeah. What's and corn oak, thought of as? Oak, or basically, corn wouldn't be thought as... A, a, because corn is an American product, so okra would be closer to something they might have in the old world. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So we just chop it up a little bit more and then put it in our container over there I left my bag and shop. That one? No, the, the mixing gun. This it's one? all going in there. Everything oh, is, is going in there. Okay. Then we, we're going to cut up our, our, our going to basically cut our, our, um, our butter up a little bit and put it in. The butter goes in there. Yeah, I'm getting our bashing chopping. It makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, because it's easier if you cut the butter up into smaller pieces because it will melt better. People don't realize that because you know butter does not melt evenly in a microwave. Oh, okay. Oh, those are funny. Yeah. So and then just because it's and then we've got cheese here. This happens to be yeah. Jack cheese. Does this go in here? Yes. Yeah. Somewhere else. It goes, goes in, in there right too. Everything got to go in there. You do that. You basically cut the the cheese up for the same reason because it doesn't melt evenly. So, and then so it makes it easier to melt under this. Yeah, this then we just, we just dump the egg in on top of it. On top of these? Yeah. Ooh. And we'll check our, um, that we, you know, we stir the, the meat and keep it warming up while we're working. See, it's not cooked yet. We'll put it in for another. You can tell because it's still pink. Yeah, we'll put it in for another couple of minutes on high because we're still, we're preparing our scones right now. A couple more minutes 
now, because we actually want it to be cooked before we put it in. Now let's put yeah. half of that container of scones mix in the same container. Because we're going to make, no, it's in the mixing bowl. We don't need the other thing yet. This one? That one, yeah. Half of it? Half oh, of it. you know what? It's already been opened. It's no, I opened it. Oh, it's about down to here right now. That's all it was. Oh, okay. So how much are we putting in? Half. Half of that. Half of that. that, yeah. Okay. Because we don't need to make an entire package of this stuff because it's, it is going to do what we want it to do. We've got we're just pouring it in there, correct? Yeah, just put it in. Okay. Because we're going to make drop scones. See, this is one of those things I'm confirming beforehand because once I put it in there... No, because it's, it's, uh, it's it, wasn't, it wasn't a full container, which is why it was on sale, I'm afraid. It basically, it was... A, oh, really? It should oh, have been... Was it? No, that was full. I opened it up. It's a brand new container. Oh, I thought maybe it opened it up before. Uh-uh. That, uh. if it, if I realized when I opened it, that's not a thing. Now, we can stir it up a little bit, and then we'll put some milk into it. Ooh, so we're actually putting these things into the scones. Yeah. What kind of scones are these? This is just English style scones. Yeah, basically. Ooh, this is going to be good with cheese and milk. Okay, then we'll oh, add a little bit of milk to it and start adding. Should we put corn in there, too? That's why I put the okra in. You can put corn in if you want. Because you have okra. Let's put some corn. Oh, only because I like corn, too. No, but now, because people add currants, they add, um, they add other types of vegetables and stuff. Oh, corn or The corn is open in the back of you. It is? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I thought I had some And see, the corn is actually pre-cooked, so all we got to do is, is bust it up and put it in, you know, flake it in a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we just add some milk to the mess and just a little milk to start with because we've got the beef that's going to have to be chopped and put in there. There we go. Just just a little bit and then oh God. So they're not going to be neat they're going to be uh, drop we're going to make oh. drop biscuits with it it's going to be ungodly tasty oh i'm like you're trying to get excited because because the cheese and the old i know because i'm starting to see what's going to be in here because i'm about to, it's like okay and basically what would happen is they would basically take it with them and eat it because it would you know it would be it would be set it wouldn't be warm it would be cold and they would take it with and eat them eat it because it would be uh, right out of it now we just uh, go get your um we'll see what the beef is like right now okay oh that's gonna be good yeah oh the beef is good now we yeah. just drain the liquid off in the Monty's container that's in the ice box oh Monty's well, no, you don't throw this stuff away, folks. I mean, we, we the Mont it should be over inside. The Montavias has basically been throwing a food strike because she's got a she sliced her gum open, so she's not eating the hard stuff. So yeah, so we found out why she was having because food we stuff. opened her mouth up. I, I she was in a benevolent mood, and I opened her mouth and saw a gash in the side of it. We're going to pour this in here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. That's all. Of course, she. Uh, Maybe take it over to the sink, you might be safer. Oh, yeah, that probably would be safer. Yeah. Okay. No, but we're trying to make something that's going to be really unique. We're trying to honor the British with something that's old world, not new world. Because remember, this, the thing of um, uh, basically the opening of the Olympics had to do with Great Britain from the olden days into the modern world. So this is just something that's old. Then we're gonna cut this that beef up just a little bit when we get it on the table. Oh no, I have a little bit too much to put in there. Maybe I'll put it in the bowl directly. Just put it in her bowl right now. That because uh, so we're trying to get her back on kibble again by softening up her kibble with beef broth. This is her treat bowl. That's her treat bowl, so because we don't throw stuff away here, you use it because we uh you know, this beef had bone with it, and we basically sliced it up and took her bone out. Now we just put it on the table, cut it into some smaller pieces, and put it in with the mess. Oh, we're going to cut it in smaller pieces? Yeah. And put it in there? Oh. Yes. You do. Yep. Oh. Yes. And you're taking, I know she always likes to put stuff down in front of the camera. Oh, you know, I, it was like, that was an available spot, you know, so I put it there. You know, but you can dump it anywhere you want. It's not necessary anymore. Okay, so you have to remind me a few times. Okay. No, we're talking. You'd think that after five years, she learned not to put the stuff in front of the camera. But she hasn't. So. 
because she does it her way. Well, she does not does cook it. for the camera, she cooks for herself. <laughs> that's you get, how you, you can get tell. It when you get yeah, that's it, how you can really tell. When you get it cut to the way you think it should be, then just put it in there. Because I have no idea. She generally, it's why I like to cut the things in the slices so that it would be small no matter what. Because her idea of a slice is a half inch thick. Well, you can hear them. <laughs> In reality, there is enough meat here to satisfy everyone. Look at this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, look at that. Boy, Isn't that neat? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as people can tell, there are no spices in this. None. They saw all the spices. Yeah. It's, uh, it's everything itself. Now we're going to mix it some more. Oh, gosh, look at that. Okay, I think we need... It's awfully thick. Yeah, and add a little bit more milk to it. Because remember, we really we have more scone mix if we have to if we thin it too much. So that's our, our fallback position is that we can thicken it up if need be. So Oh my gosh. I know. I think you need to go stir all the way to the bottom. Oh, this is making me hungry. Yep. Need to be a little thick, but not too thick, because we are we need it so we can do a drop biscuit with it. So it's gonna be great. Then I think just a little bit thicker. Okay. okay. That's our that's our fallback position. When you have enough left over, because we could actually use pop flour for the same thing, but I think yeah, like if you mix. used up all the mix, then you just use powder. Yep. Well, because we're doing a uh, recipe on the fly because the scone mix for itself is just simply too much for what we're using. Because as you see, it won't fill. If we'd have used more, it would be out of the container. And we really don't waste containers in this house. You shouldn't yeah. either. Okay. What do you think? A little bit thicker or is that good? Uh, a little bit more. Okay. Because I thought there was about a half inch of milk in the bottom when I was right. You didn't... for it. Uh, it won't take long to cook. I know we probably then get our spray and spray the bottom of the container before we drop stuff in. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. And there will be individual drop biscuits. Oh, guess what? Yeah. Oh, we got something off. Uh, we got something new. We have this and we haven't used it. I know. We got something fancy up there. Well, it's either the regular, right? Or Baker's Joy, a baking spray with flour. We want that one. That's why we got it when we saw it. We have lots of things that, that we have in our pantry. So and the nice part about this, oops. It comes with the flour already there. Yep, so you don't have to add the flour. Yep. Now we just start taking it with a, with a thing and then drop biscuits. I think that's good. What do you think? Yeah, just, just simply drop a biscuit. It won't make any difference if they sort of merge into one another. It won't? Okay. No. It's just a form of doing drop biscuits almost always merge into one another. Oh. But it, what it does, it gives you um, sort of an even, you know, an, an even, uneven thing. It, uh, drop biscuits is a misnomer because no one ever gets a real drop biscuit. Well, you're just going to make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> no. Because it more or less will come out across the thing and say, well, why didn't you do it across the thing? Because I don't want it even. I want and I'm just going to dump these and make each of them bigger. Yeah, because I want something, I want some pieces to be bigger than the other pieces. Because you want it to look like it's um, homemade. homemade and not something. Because you could simply, we could have poured it in a bigger container and made a flat thing to start with. See, look at that. And then we're just going to put it in the oven on high for about two minutes and then come back and check it because it will not take that long to cook. No, it's not going to. Oops. 
and then we shall come back in two minutes and test it with our, with our toothpick. I know it's going to cut out things, so. Okay, this is the third time we put it in, and it's been on two minutes on high. Each time. For it to come out. And we use a fork to test it to see if it's done. I'm educating a guest before she pulls it out this time that it's all done. Why, well, can you smell my eyeglasses? Well, I can smell the food. I've already, we've already checked it twice. It comes out. Oh, it's a little bit wet. Okay. And that side's dry. Let's see over here. That's dry. Let's put it in for another minute on high then. Because three of the places were good and one place wasn't. Yeah, no, because I'm doing it microwave did not cook evenly. One minute. And there is no recipe for cooking this in a microwave. So one more minute on high and then we'll get the. Uh, we're probably going to scoop it out with that. Um, if we can cut it out or scoop it out, it's up to your choice. If you want to just use a ladle to scoop it out with, then we'll scoop it out on a plate. See? And you say, well, why did you drop it? Because you always drop biscuits. It's just, if you want to have, you want it to look, okay. More like a biscuit. More like, that would put more flour in it and it stayed more. And it will stay, it will stay uh, more in a more thing. But we, this is not what we wanted. We just wanted to drop it in, everything blend together and cook evenly. So because, does this mean, since it's British, we yeah. have it with tea? Yeah. And, um, and like I said, uh, like tea and compost. If we had tea, we could have tea with this today. And it basically, it, in your old world, or everything, L. everything you wanted is setting right there in front of you so which is the fun thing you've got your you got your bread your vegetables and meat all in one little it's probably why they liked it it's yeah. like some mother's idea yeah i mean their kids a balanced meal well, because all they had they didn't have anything else so they would do this in a bake oven Ooh. and and it should be done this That's time in all areas good. Yeah, because there is no recipe for this in a microwave. It says oh. in a, it says in an oven for 15 to 20 minutes for a scone, but a scone with ingredients. So this is seven minutes in a microwave, and it smells great. It smells really good. So I'm gonna just like yeah. put it like there. I know I didn't put it on the most graceful, but see, you can see the side profile. It's what yeah. it really looks like. You know, it looks good from the side. You have the cameraman zoom in on it. So, ooh, that does see. look good. You can that looks good. see all the stuff. So naturally, she moves it out of the poor cameraman's thing. Oh, before sorry. You so we don't should just we'll come. But that's why we have we do photographs later. Mm -hmm. Can you your stuff? No, it doesn't make any difference. You can't see it now. Oh. Because you, <laughs> I know, I know, it does no good now. You just gotta eat it. But imagine it would be about this thin, and carried in your pack for the eat later in the day because it's basically not warm. It's cold at that time. They would eat it cold. We're eating it warm. So the old, you know, like they just serve it for us. They would carry something like this with them to eat. And because it looked like it was just bread, they would nobody would tax them for it. Oh, really? Well, the, the people that basically the taxation is not going to check a guy's chunk of bread to see what's in it. Oh, is that what happened? That yeah. was, was that part of it? They were hiding things from the ta from the oh. people. Oh, so by putting it in their bread. But didn't would they catch on to that? They weren't very bright. Oh, oh this is good. Yeah. See, now I want to sit there and make this because... See, this is something that you, like you said, that they would make ahead of time. Yeah, and it would be it would be put in your knapsack or whatever you were going to do when you went out to work. It would be cold, but it would have. Uh, there's nothing. They didn't worry about preservatives because there was no preservatives. But they no, would have this cheese. This is perfect because stuff. part of it is like if you're going out camping. Yeah. Right. Or um, you can take it to work, or you can yeah. give it to your kids and take it to work, or you're going out somewhere where you don't. Um, you, you may not necessarily have a restaurant, you may not have food with you, or you can bring something small like this. Yeah. And yeah. It, like I said, cold, this is it, perfect. It, it's a cold dish, but we're serving it warm because, why? Because we, we just made it. Because we just made it. Yeah. Or we can wait for it to get cold, but this is, now, but see, this is something I've never heard of before, and this is I'm, I'm, It's old, really, really old world, oh, because the day they would use some... Um, Currants and other, they would do currants, dried vegetables and stuff to put in it. Mm. Dried, dried fruit. Mm. I just did it. I went backwards when they were putting um, pieces of meat and um, and and other things. It's just simply done to hide the fact that they were eating 
meat that they shouldn't have been eating because the, the, the people basically did not let the serfs have meat very often. So what did mm. they do? They would hide their meat in their scones. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Bon appetit. Enjoy beef and scallops. Oh, yes.